Hi, this is Adam with New Wave Aquaponics giving you a quick tour of the two systems that I currently have. The first system is an AC system and system number two is a DC off the grid system. System number two is not quite complete. It will be housed in this greenhouse. These solar panels will be located on top of the shed. Inside the shed I'll have co-located the water circulation pumps and the air pump for system one and two. The systems are manufactured from an IBC tote, international bulk container. I've cut the approximately top 20% of that container off, inverted it, and rotated it to make the grow bed. The lower portion, which is the fish tank, will hold approximately 175 gallons, and the grow bed will hold 12.5 gallons of water with a total capacity of 10.5 cubic feet of grow media. As you can see, this one's just about done. Not much more left to do. Quick rundown. This is the gravel guard. Located inside the gravel guard is the standpipe and the bell siphon. The bell siphon is what allows the grow bed to have a quick dump rate so that we can cycle the grow bed approximately eight to nine times per hour. I'll take you back here to System 1, which is the AC system, give you a brief description. It's been up and running now for three weeks. It just completed its venting phase of the grow bed. You can kind of hear it gargling back there. Um, again, it's 175 to 185 gallon fish tank capacity. Currently, I have two catfish in there. One is at 19 and a half inches. The other one is at about 26 inches. Pretty large, a lot bigger than what I originally wanted. Um, located in this container is my air pump and electrical connections. That is a 90 liter air pump. And I have a 1,000 gallon per hour water or sump pump located in the bottom of the tank. You can see the rock there on top of the air stone. Uh, catfish are kind of back there in the corner. I have the ability to throttle the water supply going to the grow bed, and I'm also throttling the air capacity to the tank. I'm utilizing approximately half of that, about 90 to 95 liters of air per hour is circulating through the fish tank. This is a huge plus when keeping the ammonia levels manageable, which is generated by the food digestion of the fish. I have a digital thermometer located on the tank. Currently the water temperature is about 56.1 degrees. Fluctuates throughout the day. This is very important when determining what type of fish you want to put in the tank. Uh, ultimately I'm going to go with tilapia but they're not very tolerant to cold weather. Anything below 60 degrees, they start to hibernate and imminent death. They can tolerate temperatures as high as 105 degrees. So I think ultimately I'll be switching over to tilapia and regulating the water temperature. So, the water comes up from the water pump. It's fed to this supply line which is fed to the halo as you can see here which ultimately floods the grow bed the grow bed is made of a clay terracotta type of media and in here is my bell siphon 
which again allows for rapid uh, dumping of the grow bed and a standpipe. It's a pretty simple process. The water comes up, goes over the standpipe, creates inside the bell siphon a vacuum which will ultimately increase the dump rate to a one inch dump pipe back to the fish tank. So we're almost up to the top of the grow bed and pretty soon you'll see water trickling down the standpipe through this dump system which is just a 90 and a 45 in order to create the recommended back pressure, required back pressure for the bell siphon. It's still hard to see the fish. Okay, and it is the water is just starting to trickle down the standpipe, and the bell siphon is getting ready to kick into full capacity. And there you go. Takes a little over, a little over a minute to completely dump the water in the grow bed. I also have a screen leaf guard that I place over the grow bed when the wind conditions pick up just to keep the leaves and debris out of the grow bed. The screen was also put in place to keep debris out of the tank and at one time I had some pretty large stripers in there and they tried to uh, commit suicide and escape. That's a definite must feature. The ultimate goal with this system is to take where the blue vent drain valve is at the bottom of the tank. That will be plumbed over to this grow bed. So any excess fish media, dirty water, will be recycled back to this conventional vegetable garden. The tote with the pump and the electrical connections will be again co-located inside the shed behind me. And the bell siphon is attempting to break its siphon. It takes just a little bit of time. Not that long. What it's doing is uh, drawing all the water from the bottom of the grow bed through the siphon. And, and by the way, floating on top of the water is dog food. That's what I'm currently feeding the uh, catfish until I can come up with a good supplier for fish food. So the bell siphon again is attempting to, to drain all the water out of the grow bed and until that siphon is broken through the vents located at the bottom of the black pipe that I just showed you, the siphon will not be broken therefore the grow bed will not have a chance to refill. And this process usually takes about 15 seconds once it's completely exhausted all the water. It's a continuous flow from the fish tank pump, which again is a thousand gallon pump that I have throttled back to about 75 to 80 gallons per hour. A lot larger pump than I originally needed, but then I'll have the capacity to add multiple grow beds. One 175 gallon fish tank will supply three of these grow beds. And there you go. The siphon's been broken. As you can see. And the grow bed will start to refill process takes place about eight and a half times per hour. This pipe right here is our emergency vent for the grow bed in case the bell siphon 
happens to malfunction or we get a huge rainfall, the water will just be vented through that emergency bypass and back into the fish tank. And you can kind of see the water coming up there in the grow bed. Okay, that's it. Until my next video, we'll see how things uh, progress.